let's talk about kind of a naturalism oopsie involving Charles Darwin. When Charles Darwin was 22, my age, he went sailing on the Beagle all over Africa and the New World, so largely South America and the Caribbean. A lot of the time not on the ship was spent like backpacking and trekking through the wilderness of South America, and in doing so you had to eat pretty much whatever you could get. And a lot of the food that Charles Darwin and his various companions ate were these guys, the Greater Rhea, which are a relative of the African ostrich and Australian emu. And throughout the book, The Voyage of the Beagle, emu, Rhea, and ostrich were used pretty much interchangeably to refer to this bird, the Greater Rhea. However, according to Charles Darwin's traveling companions, there was another smaller and much rarer version of the Rhea that before had not been seen by Charles Darwin or really any naturalist from England or anywhere around there. So this obviously intrigued Darwin and he made it a point to kind of keep an eye out for this other ostrich that he could describe formally and technically discover. And it kind of just lived in the back of his mind until one day, him and his companions were eating an ostrich, and he noted that it was smaller and slightly different looking than the regular rias that he was used to eating. And at first he assumed it was a juvenile greater rhea, until he realized, oh no, oh fuck, I think I'm eating this rare bird that I've really, really been trying hard to kind of discover. So this is the lesser Rhea, also known as Darwin's Rhea, that the very first contact that Charles Darwin ever had with, he accidentally ate. So when he realized, oh shit, I'm eating this rare bird that I've tried really hard to find, he made a point to kind of preserve as much as he could of the meal. Now, fortunately, there was a good amount of kind of matter left, so he was able to preserve a lot of the larger feathers, as well as I think the beak and the feet and some bones, which he did take back to England to formally describe as a new species. So he brought back whatever remained of the specimen to England, where one of the common English names of the lesser Rhea was given to be Darwin's Rhea. 